Okay, so we're just gonna over and open her up here. Looks like we see our the main system here, which is the the unit. There's a front USB you can see right here that goes in, just a mini USB on the front of this adapter. Backside has our antennas, obviously little rubber feet so that it can go down on the table. And uh, we're just going to assemble this and put it together. Okay, so we won't show this part, but we will, you know, because it's kind of common sense, so I don't want to waste film or time. All right, hold on. Okay, so there's how she looks uh, completely set up. Antennas, I'm just putting them out at a little bit of a V angle. And then we will uh, hook this up to a computer and see what she does. We're just going to take the mini USB cable and insert it into the front like that. And then, of course, we've got our regular standard USB section here to plug and, into the um, computer. Probably on the oh, yep, of course, on the underside there, we've got a disc. Pull it out. Pop it into the system. See what happens on running an install here. We're in the office here and we've got it kind of like high up on the partition here. Um, and then we've got our cable going down and we're just going to stuff this into the back of the tower. We're going to see if uh, just uh, if uh, Windows installs a driver for it automatically. And it looks like not. And this is Windows 732, just common, uh, and it's a Dell Inspiron. So. Uh, looks like we're going to have to uh, browse for drivers because right now it's telling us it sees nothing. So let's do that. So anyways, we have uh, hooked up the uh, antenna and you can see that we have like huge signal bars. Everything's pretty much, we have like five or six connections that are solid bars. Then it starts dropping down to three bars, but you can see all of these access points here as I scroll down. It looks like about, um, probably about 30, 35. So um, not as good as I thought, but still pretty incredible. Um, I see a lot of different networks here um, on this on this gain. So um, there is uh, even a transmission shop, Danny's Transmission, and it's actually open Wi-Fi. <laughs> Let's try and log into Danny's Transmission. Shouldn't be doing this, but uh, we're not really. We're just uh, demonstrating that um, that this thing works. And I guess um, um, you know for for very little, you know, we could probably have free internet going here. So he's got open Wi-Fi. He might actually have it for his customers, you know, to uh, log in. You know, people, you want to provide people with free access. So um, let's uh, just try and um, log on here to Windows and see what happens. Um, click a button and see what happens. We show bars here, so. And maybe, maybe not, don't know. It was open Wi-Fi, but he might have it blocked by an AP. But anyways, um, we can see that we can see a lot of access points in here, and um, that's pretty incredible. It, uh, um, it it does. Oh, yep, work network. There we go. There. Okay, let's see what it does. Oh yeah, we have internet for free, and it looks like it's pretty good internet too. Well, let's go. Cool. So anyways, <laughs> just log on to the Soul Calendar of Phoenix here. Oh yeah, he's got actually fairly good. Um, we have a fairly good network connection going on here, for free, scatty. But again, this um, this is the Janus. It's called the uh, the Janus uh, um, High Power 802.11 N, G, and B wireless adapter with five decimal gain. Yeah, there's our internet, and um, it has the little rabbit in our antenna. So this is really good for somebody um, who just cannot get connected across their Wi-Fi network and and um, need to get attached, or something that needs, obviously, free internet. Hmm, that's an interesting scenario. But, um, again, um, a nice little piece of hardware for the money. Looks like it really does do its job. It is also